Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to keep working on our mobile friendly web page for the River Arts Cafe small business website. Okay, so where we left off, we had uh, certainly our desktop version is done, and we started working on the mobile friendly version of this web page. Let's keep working because we need to take care of certainly this paragraph with image, and we need to make sure that. Um, I want to get rid of this background image here. I want to replace it with a map image. And I also don't want to have this side-by-side -side layout of our promo items. These should be one on top of the other. Everything should be a nice, easy to read, single column um, to make it easier for our visitors. So back over to the style sheet, taking care of the anchor tag, let's go and tackle a few more things. For instance, that, um, that main paragraph image, it starts off being pretty tiny. I want it to be big and wide. So I'm going to go ahead and take my this is a class, my main paragraph image. And remember, we need to cancel out a lot of things that we had before. So earlier on, it had a particular width and a particular float. In fact, we could even copy these as reminders. These are things we need to alter, okay? Well, the width, I don't want it to be 200 pixels wide anymore. In fact, I'm gonna change it over to 100% wide. And instead of floating right, I'm going to choose to float none. I want to negate the previously floating characteristics. Okay? So as soon as I save this and refresh, we now have a nice large sandwich picture. And notice it's flexible. It gets bigger as the screen gets bigger. But of course, there's a point to where on a wide screen, it goes to the uh, smaller 200 pixel float right layout. So that takes care of that image. And actually, I'm pretty happy with the paragraph. But we are in this main content area. Let me put this rule up here. Currently my main content has that cafe background image. I'm going to get rid of that though. I'm going to choose none. I don't think the background image really benefits. It's not as pleasing on that mobile screen. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to set the uh, min height. I had a min height before on here of about 600 pixels. I'm going to change it over to zero. And you could do zero pixels, but if you do a zero, you don't need the unit of measurement there. So main content, got the image inside of that main paragraph. Now we have a map image, and you may remember this from the print-friendly style sheet, but on the HTML, we do have this map with a special class map image. And on desktop, it's set to display none. But on mobile, I want to take this map image, and I'm going to display it as a block. I'm going to set its width to 100%, very similar to our big sandwich photo. I'm going to put a little margin top on there of about 10 pixels just to separate it from the content that's right above it. So made a couple changes there. You should now be able to see this map image. So when I refresh, there we go. We got the map location. Because if somebody's visiting our website from a smartphone, there's a good chance they're going to, they're on the road and we want to make sure that they know exactly where to find our store. Okay, now we're going to come to these three side-by-side -side areas. You notice this big space. That's because part of the design on the desktop version was a big margin top so that we could see that background image. Just aesthetics. We're going to have to get rid of that margin top. So now we're getting into the promo items. So before, um, the promo items have uh, that big margin top of, I want to say, it's like 330 pixels or 400 pixels. I guess we could always double check real quick, right? Promo items. There it is. They had a big margin top. So I definitely want to get rid of that big margin top. So I'm going to change the margin top to just uh, 10 pixels, canceling out or overriding basically that, that much bigger margin top. That should be pretty good. Let's see actually how that does. Oh, there we go. See, perfect. Let's create another rule. Promo items um, aside. Remember these asides? They're 33.33% wide and they're floating left. That's how they get side by side. Well, I'm going to change them out so that they are now 100% wide and they are no float. Okay? And I'm going to set a little margin bottom on them, kind of separate them from their surrounding content. So I'm going to save that and refresh. And now they're one on top of the other, but they're not getting the space that I was hoping. And that's because this background color, that light gray background color, that's actually on the promo items. 
So I'm going to cancel out. I'll go to transparent background color for the promo items. And then for the asides, I'll put a background color on there. And the background color I'm going to use, it's this one I've used before. It's that RGBA 240, 240. 240.7. So now when we look at these, they've got this little line space. Oh, let's see, we can change a couple things here. Let's go ahead and put some padding on there. Just about five pixels. So that text is a little further out. But I'd still like them to line up here. And I think maybe my div items, my, my promo items, had some padding before. So I'm going to make sure that there's no padding on that. There we go. So now they got those nice neat blocks. And we are pretty much set. So that kind of takes care of this particular mobile friendly site. So once again, widescreen, nav menu, paragraph, little uh, sandwich picture to the right, side by side promo items. Narrow screen, nav menu is vertical, big sandwich picture, uh, opening paragraph, map for location, and our three promo items, one on top of the other.